Taylor Swift. She is the nanny for these guys. She's at your house. I know. No, um, the Very cost, expensive. The cost of that is, um, <laughs> I believe the, the, the accountant said cost prohibitive. <laughs> Let's wait for another this. song. Is the fourth child's name, the baby's name, anywhere on the new record? Well, we always wait for Taylor to tell us what the child's name is. <laughs> so, uh, and I uh, will say this, we're still waiting. The wait is over for Deadpool and Wolverine as it hits theaters today. And the wait is also over to know if Taylor Swift actually cameos in this movie. Because Ryan Reynolds fueled those rumors earlier this month with his Instagram story that looked quite similar to Taylor's Evermore album cover. Now Ryan has shot down the cameo rumors several times on this extensive press tour. I'm gonna just say, you know, once and for all that the, the cameo thing with Taylor, because she's our friend, I don't, that is not in this in this film. I wish Taylor, you know, if I if I ever stop, she made good Deadpool. <laughs> funny, <laughs> funny. But people still believe there's a possibility because we all experienced the Spider-Man Far From Home <laughs> press tour where they denied Toby and Andrew's involvement till as long as humanly possible. And Ryan Reynolds is not above telling a little white lie. And today on the film's release day, Taylor promoted the film big time in her Instagram story writing, over the past few years, I've watched one of my best friends on this planet pour every bit of his heart, soul, sweat, time, energy, jokes, pain, joy, rebellion, darkness, and magic into this film. He's created the best work of his life, and this film feels like an actual joy portal, a wild escape from reality, and an ab sandwich. I don't know how he did it, but that's just you for you. These other randoms crashed the photo, and we were too polite to ask them to leave. So there's Taylor with Hugh, Ryan, Blake, and director Sean Levy. Deadpool and Wolverine is out tomorrow. Here's where to buy tickets if you like things that are unspeakably awesome. Shout out to Wade Wilson, that's Ryan's character's name, aka my god kid sperm donor. And Taylor even provided a link that takes you to Fandango, where you can find out where the film is playing locally. Hugh Jackman shared Taylor's post on his own Instagram story, writing, I heart TS. Ryan shared it, adding, I'm also dead, at Taylor Swift. Ryan's wife and Taylor's very good friend, Blake Lively, shared it, writing, Thank you, Taylor Swift, for honoring my guy, Z. I couldn't have said it better myself, which is unsurprising given that I have 14 less Grammys and not a single sold-out stadium world tour. Now, I haven't seen the movie yet, but since screening started today, I looked around to see if I could find a legit source that could answer the Taylor question, and I found one. Thank you, comicbook.com. And I want to talk about this. So if you don't want to know, I'll give you some time to leave, okay? So here's a clip from Variety to give you some time to skedaddle and pass the time for the others who are going to stick around. What is Ryan's favorite Taylor Swift song? Oh, I mean, yeah. No, you sang that to me in my face. I hungry. It. <laughs> the answer is I don't even know if that's a title. Uh, Taylor is not in Deadpool and Wolverine. So I find her post very surprising, especially the part where she's providing a link to Fandango to yeah, find out where you can buy tickets. Yeah, Taylor's very good friends with Blake and Ryan, and now we find out, yeah, she's actually the godmother of their children. But I mean, Taylor's a lot of showbiz friends that would love her to post about their latest projects. And so now it's like, oh, you did it for them, why don't you do it for me? Like, is she gonna do this for Blake's movie, It Ends With Us, when it comes out in two weeks, that will not make in its entire theatrical run what Deadpool and Wolverine makes in its opening weekend? And also, this is Taylor acting as a spokesperson, like promoting a Disney Marvel product. Like, celebrities don't do that for free. Like, ultimately, Disney and Marvel are going to be the ones that benefit from any additional tickets sold because of Taylor's endorsement, not Blake or Ryan. We all know Taylor's a very smart, shrewd businesswoman. She's had dealings with Disney before. Disney paid her $75 million to stream the Eras movie on Disney+. Plus. And let's say 73 of that would have been to pay for the movie, but then you want Taylor to promote it to her 95 million followers on Twitter? Well, that'll cost you. Taylor posted the tweet on March 4th promoting that the film is dropping on Disney+, Plus in 10 days, and then she posted another tweet on release day. Both those would have been part of her contract with Disney, and yeah, it would have increased her paycheck for that. So yeah, Taylor did not do this for free, because think of the reverse, like, going forward, if Taylor has dealings with Disney, and, you know, they say to her, oh, we promote it on Twitter or Instagram, um, she'll say to them, well, it's going to cost you, and they'll say, well, you did the Deadpool and Wolverine post for free, so why should we pay you for this? See? You gotta think of it the other way. <laughs> so yeah, Taylor did not do this for free. It might not have been a monetary value, but there's some kind of, I'll do this for you, you can do this for me. I'm not trying to be like pessimistic about this. Like, yeah, sure, it's a nice gesture, but like, you don't do this for free. It, it would actually hurt Taylor to do it for free. So, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, just gotta tell, call it what it is. But yeah, what do you think of Taylor's post promoting the movie? And yeah, the fact that she's not in it and she's still doing this. Well, 